Hey, welcome to another episode of Atkins Diet in the Kitchen. My name is, of course, Ken Daltoner. In this week's episode, we're going to be making a recipe that was inspired by America's Test Kitchen. It's called Chicken Pot Pie, and while it's not like the one that you might be thinking of with the crust on bottom and on top, this one is instead uh, more harkens back to the old style chicken pot pies, in which it was just simply a chicken pie that was cooked into a pot, and then there was a topping on top. So, follow along with me. I've already had my oven preheating at 450 degrees. I have about two pounds of chicken in the pan. I'm going to be adding three cups of low sodium chicken broth to it. All right, we're going to heat this until, until it's just reaches simmering and we're going to poach it, the chicken breast in there for about 8 to 10 minutes. I'll set that time on my timer so I don't forget about them. Alright. Okay, so now let's start on the savory uh, topping on it. So I'm going to start with my one and a half cups of carb quick. To that, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of black pepper. A fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now into here I'm going to be uh, mixing in uh, four tablespoons of butter that are very pre-sliced into smaller pieces. So at this point you just want to use your big paws and work the butter into it so you don't have big pieces of butter. I'm going to be rubbing the carb quick and the butter together with your th in between your thumbs. It should turn out kind of like a cornmeal after you're done. I'll show you the finished product on what it should look like. Alright, so here's the finished product that it should look like. You can see that all the butter has basically been worked into the carb quick. There's not naked butter anywhere in this um, bowl. It's all been mixed together, kind of looks like cornmeal. To this I'm going to add one third cup of grated Parmesan. pieces in there. Dump that in. And then finally I need to add a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. At this point, you just want to mix it through each other until the heavy cream combines with the carb quick. This is very similar to the Cheddar Bay Biscuit recipe that you might have seen me making before. Alright, so now that you kind of see that it's broken apart, I'm going to be putting it on a uh, sheet pan lined with parchment paper and I'm going to just be putting the balls of dough on there. You don't want the balls to be too big but you don't want them to be too small either. So we finished it up. You can see that the crumbles are about, oh, the size of a, you know, hailstone. So we're going to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. We want to make sure that we don't burn it. Uh, left it in for 13 minutes the last time. Ended up burning some of, the, uh, some of the crumbles and they didn't quite taste as well. So 10 minutes in the oven for 450 degrees. So I put another frying pan on the stove 
I'm going to put a tablespoon of oil in it. To this, I'm going to add one medium onion. Uh, three medium stalks of celery and about a fourth of a cup of carrots. If you're still on induction, leave this off. And finally, about a half a cup of cauliflower. We're going to leave this cook on the stove until it gets nice and translucent, um, not quite browned, and we'll catch back up at that point. See then? All right, our chicken timer just went off. It's been cooking for about uh, eight minutes on the simmering side. I'm gonna temp it out to see if it's done. And my instant read thermometer, it's supposed to temp out at 165 degrees. All right, 165. I'm gonna take it out and put it on this plate. And then I'll tint it with tin foil. My vegetable mixture, I'm going to just salt and pepper it to taste. Probably about a fourth to a half teaspoon there. So with the excess uh, chicken broth, I'm going to send it through a strainer and reserve it for the gravy. Alright, I'm going to set this aside and put four tablespoons of butter in this pan. And we'll catch back up when the butter is almost done. I'll see you then. All right, so here we go. The crumbles just got done. You can kind of see that just further breaking them apart at this point. They actually taste pretty good by themselves. I'll put these over here. My butter is just finishing up, bubbling on the stove when it's done. I'm going to finish up with that. The vegetables are finished cooking. I'm going to put one teaspoon of tomato paste into it to add some richness to it. All right, you can see that the butter is finished. Um, Bubbling on the stove, I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of carb cook to it to start my gravy mixture. Again, making that roux that we've made in past videos. I'm going to let this cook for about 30 more seconds. While we were waiting, I've shredded up the chicken. I just pulled it apart with a pair of forks. Mix the tomato paste into the vegetables. They're about done. So you can see that the roux has gotten a dark brown in texture or color. To this, we're gonna add the approximately half of the chicken broth.
We'll reserve the other half to see if we need it after we're done. We're going to add a fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream. And a fourth a cup of water. Alright, the gravy's reduced down far enough. We're going to add back the vegetables into the mixture. And we're going to add the chicken back into the mixture. And we're going to add one teaspoon of lemon juice. For some brightness. Give it a mix. Alright, while this is finishing off, we're gonna add, we're gonna spray down our Casserole dish. And start ladling in the mixture. And then you can pour the rest of the liquid in. Give it a good shake. And at this point you start layering in your crumbled toppings on top, breaking up any of the larger pieces into smaller pieces. Your point is you want to cover as much of the top as you can. And you can even push some of them into the liquid if you, if you so desire. At this point this goes back into the 450 degree oven for approximately 15 minutes. Check it after 10 just to make sure the top isn't getting too burnt. Thank you guys for watching. Look forward to seeing you in another video. Bye!